it, because of everything that's going on, it is very challenging for us because we are a program that's designed to travel. We are designed to travel to visit schools. We, we go to different uh, facilities. We also do the resorts in San Antonio. So we've had to adapt a little bit and make a few adjustments to be able to help with that by doing these online programs, which is what we're offering. So we do have a way for people to donate to help our cause. Uh, so if, if anybody wants to learn more about how they can do that, they can visit our website to be able to do that. It does help because, of course, all these animals, they need food, they need care. Uh, you know, the, the, if an animal gets sick or it needs uh, attention in that sort, so, you know, it is challenging because, uh, again, as I mentioned to you, that our programs are really what provide for all these animals 100%. Her name is Athena. She is an Eastern Screech Owl. She is full grown. A lot of people think that uh, she is a baby owl, but she is full grown. She is five years old. She weighs about four ounces. They are native to North America, and you are looking at one of the smallest owl species in the world. They are found all over this area. There is the Eastern Screech Owl and the Western Screech Owls, and they vary in, uh, in color from brown and red and to, to even a darker gray, but this is more, what more of what you look when the color you see when you see an eastern screech owl. Now she came to us from an organization in Corpus Christi, down in Corpus Christi. It's a last chances rehab facility where she was found down there with an injured eye. Now, when they looked at her eye, upon examining her eye, they realized that her right eye was injured so badly that it had to be removed. And so they had to surgically remove her right eye. And that is the only reason why we have her. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Department and the Texas uh, Parks and Wildlife Department uh, said that it would probably be good for her to not be released only because she cannot see predators coming from the right side. Now under our care she is she lives in a big area where she can fly around and she can also uh, hunt for food. We do provide her 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 diet which is consists of insects. She does like to eat insects so we give her grasshoppers and crickets and little worms like that but we also provide her pieces of meat. Uh, even with one eye she can still see over she can still see an insect clearly over a hundred yards away in the dark so that's how good their eyesight is now you might notice these two little pointy things on the top of her head those are called ear tufts her ears are just beneath that underneath all those feathers there now owls ears are a lot different than your other birds other birds have holes on the side of their head uh, owls ears are more like slits or openings on each side so one of them is higher on one side and the other side is lower you'll also notice that owls faces appear to be flat they are not flat. They just appear that way because of the feathers. The feathers, what they do is almost like a dish. It traps the sound and it, those, that sound then is directed towards the ears, which is what turns her head in the direction that she heard the sound from. Now I'm gonna give you a little example here. I'm gonna touch her on the right shoulder a little bit. Watch how she turns her head just to see what's going on. She's got her eye on something. There she goes, uh, and she's turning her head. She's so. looking at Duncan down there. <laughs> <laughs> These animals, uh, they're healthy, they're great, but for one reason or the other, they can be released into the wild, so they do need to be cared for. Um, and so that's why it's we're so excited to be able to say, you know, that people, that now we're a nonprofit, and, and so that does help in the animals. It's all about the animals. So we've always been focused in, uh, about educating people about animals, and that's what Zoom Imagination is about. That's why we started Imagination 14 years ago. If we go to uh, a, a home or, or a, 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 an area where it's, you know, where we make sure we keep our distance, we keep our safe distance, we always wear, we, we always wear a mask. Uh, and so of course our, the groups are, are limited to a certain number of people, uh, but we always make sure that we wear our mask and we always make sure we keep our distance. So we, we do um, follow the, the safety uh, protocols that are in place uh, to ensure everybody's safety.